What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome. Today's lesson is very simple. Be careful how you treat people. Because the rich man and the poor man are the same. I'm going to say it again. Be careful how you treat people. Because the rich man and the poor man is the same. Now, what I mean by that is... People may attach their status to monetary wealth or, you know, how many possessions they have or their family, history, legacy, things like that. A lot of people attach their worth to material things. And... A lot of people judge, uh, people judge others most of the time on superficial statuses and material possessions, right? And, you know, sometimes some people think that the more possessions you have, the greater your worth is opposed to someone else who doesn't have as much. But. We all know that's really not true because the rich man and the poor man, male or female, the prince and the pauper, the president and the sanitation worker all have a few fundamental things that they that are in common that you cannot escape. The two main ones is if you are alive, you will die. We all, we all, we all may not be equal, but we are all made equally. Say it again. We all may not be equal, but we are all made equally. We all go through the same process of life. We all go through the same process of death. Your status in life will never supersede life and death. So no matter what family you were brought into, no matter how much money you have or don't have, the rich man and the poor man are the same. Because the grave will not hold a ceremony for a king. And the poor man will be taken into the earth just as equally, just as fast as the, as the rich man. No king can avoid the grave. No poor man can avoid the grave. Every king, every conqueror, every child, Every inventor, every dictator, all go through the process of birth and will go through the process of death. So, your status in life is never higher than the life that you have. Or your status is, no, is, is not lower than the than life you have. All life, all life is equal. Now, like I said, you know, we may, we may grow up in different circumstances. We may be born into different families. And some families are seen higher than others. Some people are seen as worthless, whatever that means. But, like I said, the rich man and the poor man are the same. So when you see people treat others in a less than positive manner based off of status, remember if the rich man and the poor man die, the earth will take you both. The earth don't care about your age. It don't care about how much money you have. 
It don't care about the, the family name. The, the earth don't care about legacy. The earth takes in all the same. Life don't care about where you were born. Life don't care about how much money you have. Because the rich man and the poor man were both babies. The rich man and the poor man both cried when they were babies. The king, the queen, and the poor person have a mother and a father. So, and we all went through that same process. And we go through that same process coming into the world. And we'll go through that same process going out of the world. Your status will not keep you from death. Your money will not keep you from death. So the rich man and the poor man are the same. Never forget that. So be careful how you treat people. I don't care if you know them or not. Whether or not you know them. It shouldn't matter if you know the person or you don't know the person. The stranger is just as important as your close friend. No one is above another person. Status is just a superficial construct that humans humans are made to make themselves feel good. It's just it's it's a a self-appointed pecking order. Because if you were to say, okay, will the leader of the group escape death from the lowest among the group? Will they both die one day? Yes. So what makes the, what makes the leader more superior than the quote-unquote inferior? What's the difference? Really, there is no difference. It's just one person is able to understand a certain situation and move forward and so forth and so on and people look for that people look to that person as a means of guidance that's what a leader is a leader is simply a guide right because you leave something you, you, you're guiding something but that does not mean that the leader is greater than the follower both the leader and the follower will both meet the same fate one day so like I said be careful how you treat people respect all humans respect all life respect all life all life goes through the same process all life from the microorganism to the blue whale all life go through the same process and we are no different different between ego an eco got an ego system and an ecosystem let me say it again you have an ego system and an ecosystem trust me the ecosystem is far greater than the ego system so be careful because the, like I said the rich man and the poor man are the same all right I'm gonna see you saying that the rich man and the poor man are the same so treat everyone with fairness, treat life with some dignity and some respect. All right? Catch y'all later.